Now page four, the ugly economic, constitutional, and biological consequences of messing with a civil society. What will be the results of the political geniuses and those narrow-minded scientists who ordered the United States of America to place itself under house arrest and stop functioning as a free market society? Well, we know the economic results, they're catastrophic. Will the U.S. economy be on its feet again fully one year from now? I certainly hope so. I don't know for sure. Apparently, it's not up to them. It's up to the scientists, that is, and not us. But some of the economic damage is going to be permanent. A certain percentage of businesses that were forced to close sadly will never reopen. Who compensates them for that loss? A certain percentage of workers will never get their jobs and or their careers back after being forced to stay at home and not work. Who compensates these people for that loss? The Congress is running up the national debt like it's monopoly money. Who compensates my child and grandchildren for that pending economic calamity? These blue state governors have trashed the constitutional rights of tens of millions of Americans. Who compensates us for this wholesale attack on liberty? And there's, the, there's a, this attempt to affect the natural course of nature. We know that the Wuhan coronavirus is lethal only to about 1% or less of society. These would be the sick and the elderly. They are most vulnerable. And we know that the vast majority of infected people recover. We know that the young are in many cases almost immune to it. They either don't contract it or are asymptomatic. Yet the politicians decided to shut down and lock down the entire country, young and old, healthy and sick together. In other words, for the first time in recorded human history, people who are not infected, not stricken with morbidities, and people who are not elderly are quarantined. So what will be the net result of this Frankenstein-like experiment to an entire society? Answer, it's going to distort the natural process of herd immunity, and there will likely be an unpleasant outcome. By sheltering the young and healthy from being exposed to the Wuhan coronavirus, the genius politicians have screwed up herd immunity, which is nature's way of using the young and healthy to effectively inoculate the sick and the elderly. Herd immunity is being blocked from taking place by the Newsom, Cuomo, Whitmer, Northam, Pritzker gang. And because of this, it virtually guarantees that there is going to be a strong wave of the Wuhan coronavirus sometime later this year. It's not a second wave. This is the original one that was simply delayed by the politicians. And then what, Mr. Cuomo, Mr. Newsom? Then what are you going to do? Well, I suppose the answer is, if Joe Biden is in the White House, God forbid, you'll do nothing, just like blue state governors under Obama did or didn't do with h one and one, they did nothing. Now there's a chance that since the virus has been among us since probably the fall of 2019 that some herd immunity has already taken place. However, it's likely not going to be enough to prevent the virus from being transmitted to the sick and elderly in our society come winter. So nice job, Gavin, Andrew, and Gretchen. You messed up our liberty, you messed up our economy, and you messed up our own natural inoculation process, the consequences of all three are going to be very ugly. And so what does the Democrat leadership on Capitol Hill do about this calamity, this internal attack on our republic? Why, through Nancy Pelosi's lieutenants, like Bernie Thompson of Mississippi, they double down. And this week, fuel were tested than last week. Stop this tape. is not right. Stop tape. So, so these guys are creating an echo chamber, right? Gavin Newsom says we need more testing. Uh, Andrew Cuomo says we need more testing. All the blue state governors say we need more testing. Nancy Pelosi says we need more testing. This guy says we need more testing. Here's the paradox of more and more testing. As we test more in this country, we're going to find more cases of the Wuhan 
coronavirus out there. It's axiomatic. It's going to happen. And so as we test more and we find more cases of it, even though they may be among the young and the healthy and they may be completely asymptomatic, we're going to find more cases of the Wuhan coronavirus and then these governors are going to recoil. And they're going to say, uh-oh, look at that. More cases. We don't have that bell curve going down yet, so we better keep the society locked down. We better keep restaurants closed. We better keep crushing business in our state. We better keep bankrupting innocent Americans in this government response to a virus. You see the paradox here? Here's what should be happening in terms of testing. It's very simple and it's very scientific. If you talk to any epidemiologist, any scientists, they're going to tell you what you should be doing in terms of testing, and that's random sampling. And if you're a state, for example, like California, I think there's 58 counties in California, and a lot of them in the upper reaches in the, in the northeastern section of California have no exposure whatsoever to the Wuhan coronavirus. And then you compare that to like Santa Clara County that has a decent amount of exposure, or in Los Angeles County, a decent amount of it. There's no overwhelming numbers anywhere in California, in any county. But the point is, do random sampling county by county, no matter what state you're in, New York or Illinois or Washington state, do it county by county. Take some random samples and figure out what's going on in your community, you get the data. You'll see what's going on, and what we are discovering is that the virus has been among us for many, many months longer than was first thought. Again, it's something I've been saying on this program ad nauseum because it only made sense. They had a problem in China dating back to November of last year that they knew it was documented in November of last year. And of course, we do commerce with China which needs to be rethought during this whole process, and hopefully it will be, but the bottom line is we have a lot of bodies going back and forth between the United States and China. Why in the world, if you're not a rational, reasonable thinker, why in the world would you not think that the Wuhan coronavirus was not among us in the fall of 2019? It has been. There's more and more evidence that it has been. This is common sense stuff. Unfortunately, this is allowing to be politicized. And this guy is criticizing the President of the United States. And so when they come out and they criticize the President of the United States, and they're a Nancy Pelosi, or they're a whoever on the Democrat side of the aisle, tell me this is not political. Tell me the root of this. Ask these scientists and these doctors this question. They can never answer for me. Why the draconian response? What is the motivation? They scratch their head and they say, well, you know, it doesn't quite make sense. I don't know why Gavin Newsom and, and Andrew Cuomo are doing this and all the other blue state governors. They don't think politically. There's a reason for this, and it's very, very simple. It is to hammer the president of the United States through a hammered economy affecting the outcome of the November election. There is absolutely no doubt when buffoons like this Go on national television and blame the president of the United States for the Wuhan coronavirus. So here is the point that all these genius politicians and all these so-called experts, all these egghead scientists at the CDC are missing or ignoring about America and a free market society and the greatest, strongest, most powerful country on the planet. It's a simple concept, and it's this. We're not going to find a cure, a vaccine, a treatment for the Wuhan coronavirus by shutting down America. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.